Alright guys, let's get to the point. These TP4056 modules gets hot when we charge a single 18650 cell and that's fine hitting up with one cell because it doesn't blow up the IC with a single cell. But mostly we all use it to charge two or more cells in parallel so it gets too hot while charging and we all know that adding a small heatsink on top of the IC can reduce the heat. And we can also increase the output current of this module by decreasing the resistance value of this R3 resistor. Here I'm using a 600 ohms resistor to draw 2 amps. You can also use a different resistors to draw more or less current so that we can charge the batteries more quickly. But adding the heatsink on top of the IC was a little messy. So instead of adding it on the top, just connect it below the circuit so that the heat can transfer more quickly. But if we connect directly on the heatsink, the circuit may blow up because of the input and the output terminals. You can also use a small piece of electrical tape to avoid short circuits, but that gets a little bit space between the heatsink and the circuit. The more closer the heatsink the more cool the IC. So we have to remove the double sided PCB from the other side of this board. So there is a no copper that can touch the heatsink. And I also removed the upper layer of this board to get more closer to the heatsink. And make sure do not remove the main terminals of this board. I soldered some wires at the input and the output terminals. Then I applied some thermal paste and connected it on the heatsink. And to cover the whole circuit, I started cutting a small piece of acrylic glass and connected them all together on the heatsink by using a super glue. And I also connected some alligator clips on the wire so that we can easily connect to any of the 5V power supply. And now it's time to test it. So here I'm using a 230W computer as some peers to charge the batteries. And as you can see, it almost drawing 2 amps. Before changing the R3 resistor, it only draw about 1 amp. So that's really nice. And the rest will be converted into heat. So yeah. And if you want to do the same thing what exactly I did, just make sure to buy a good quality products because there's a lot of difference buying them online. Here we have two modules and they both look similar. But if you look closer, the PCB in my right hand is a little thicker than the other one and some SMD components are also bigger. And if you look more closer, the copper layer from the other side of the circuit is all over the board. That indicates the quality of the board. So make sure to check it before you buy. Hope you guys like the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.